हेलो स्टूडेंट्स योर फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ यूनिट वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर्स फर्स्टली आई विल कवर द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ कंप्यूटर सी स्टैंड फॉर कॉमन oriented machine particularly used for trading education entertainment and research with this definition or you may say with this abbreviation your application also get covered that computer is a machine which is generally used for trading purpose that is for the business purpose for the education purpose or for the research purpose moving further as a, the diagram show you will give input to the computer you will process the input and you will get the output i will cover it by one example that when you are going to make any vegetable firstly raw vegetable is available to you then you cook it that means you process it and finally the final product of vegetable that you will get as a output similarly we give raw data to the computer then the data is processed and finally we get the output classification of computer computer is divided into three parts one is analog computers digital computers and hybrid computers analog computer is a form of computer that uses a continuous physical phenomena such as electrical mechanical quantities to model the problem being solved i will give you one example after covering covering it theoretically then comes a digital computer a computer that performs calculations and logical operations with quantities represented as digits usually in a binary number system that is called the digital computer then comes the hybrid computer hybrid computer is a combination of both analog and digital a combination of computer those are capable of inputting and outputting in both digital and analog signals a hybrid computer system set up offers a cost effective method to perform some complex simulation i will give you one example as the analog computers are concerned when you go to the hospital and use the ecg machine over the ecg machine you can check there is some form of wave is there this form of wave where you are not getting any sort of value either in the form of zero or one or any other digit is called the analog signal this is one form of the computer example of analog computer is ecg machines then is digital computers digital computers when you are going over the road and check out the traffic light timer the timer decreases or increases in some form in digital form that is the example of the digital computers that is the traffic light signals signal timer i will use the word timer is here okay then comes the hybrid computer 
hybrid says it is the combination of both that is of the analog as well as the digital computer sometime some devices are available which gives both the values uh, when you are going to check the temperature some thermometers are available which give value as well as signals these are the example example some thermometers these are the example of the hybrid computer then comes the characteristics of computer first characteristic of computer is speed as you know computer can work very fast it takes only few seconds for calculation that we can take hours to complete you will be surprised to know that computer can perform millions of instruction and even more per second that means computer work at a very fast pace then comes the accuracy the degree of accuracy of computer is very high and every calculation is performed with the same accuracy the accuracy is determined on the basis of design of the computer how it will give you the accurate output the errors in the computer are due to human or inaccurate data as i'm saying the error in the computer is due to human sometime we are giving the wrong input to the computer then only we can have the chances to get an error as example if i quote here so you are going to add two number instead of using the addition sign i am giving the multiplication sign then this is my mistake that i am giving the multiplication sign this is not the mistake of the computer so it is saying the computer will give you accurate result but the error may occur in computer is because of the human error then diligence diligence means a computer is free from tiredness sometimes we feel lethargic lazy tired we don't want to work but computer don't feel tired don't have lack of concentration there is no fatigue, uh, fatigue in the computer it can work for hours without creating any error if millions of calculations are to be performed a computer will perform every calculation with the same accuracy if i am saying the computer can perform millions of uh, calculation in few seconds or few minutes that means computer never get tired and it every time computer will give you the accurate result uh, this may be the reason that uh, computer Uh, human beings are being replaced by the computer everyone is saying with the few span of time the human will be get replaced by the computer system this is the reason because human can feel tired and uh, there is a possibility much possibility of error in when the human work but there is very less chances or there are no chances the computer will give any error then comes the versatility versatility it means the capacity to perform completely different type of work uh, as versatility means a computer can perform multiple jobs of different types one thing is you can do your office work while using the computer you can use your uh, entertain you can use the computer for your entertainment as well you can use the computer for your study purpose you can use the computer for communication purpose that means computer can play different type of roles at different timings then the power of remembering there is some memory available in the computer that means the power of storing any amount of information of data is there any information that can be stored and recalled as long as you require it depends entirely upon how much data you want to store in a computer and when to lose or retrieve that data um, as you know we can delete some items from the computer if to, we don't want to delete it we can 
retrieve it. Uh, we can put it on our computer for many years until and unless we delete it, the computer will store in it. There is no IQ. Computer is dumb machine. Computer has no personal IQ. Com it cannot do any work without the instruction from the user. User means without us, without human. Only we open the computer, we use the computer, then the computer work. It uh, generally, it performs the instruction at very high speed and accuracy. It is you to decide. It is that means it, uh, it is human to decide that what you want to do and in what sequence. So a computer cannot take own decisions as you can. Then is no feeling. Computer has no emotions. It don't, it doesn't have any feeling or emotion, taste, knowledge, experience. Thus, it does not get tired even after long hours of working. Then comes last point is storage. The computer has inbuilt memory, which can store large amount of data. If I'm saying computer has power of remembering, that means power of remembering is only possible if there is having some storage capacity in the computer. As you have almost heard about a hard disk, the RAM, the capacity of hard disk, 1 TB, uh, 500 GB, this is the capacity that how much data a computer can store. You can also store data in secondary storage devices such as floppies, which can be kept outside your computer and can be carried to the another computer. Floppies is one of the example. I will give you example. The latest thing is portable hard disk, your pen drives that is called USBs. We are you memory cards where you can store your data and you can plug that particular device to any other computer, to any other mobile device, to any other device where you want to retrieve that data. Then comes the application or uses of computer where you can use the computer. First field that where we use is the computer is education. That is very much required field where we use is the computer. Getting the right kind of information is a major challenge as is getting knowledge, as is getting information to make sense. College students spends an average of five to six hours uh, in a day by using the computer. So that we may say that uh, during the exploration of internet, you can get some study material related to your academics and online courses are available where you can get the information. Some videos are available where you can get the information. That means computer can be used for the education purpose. Then comes the health and medicine. Computer technology is also using in the field of medicines, all medical information can now be digitized. Even you can check uh, some apps are available, pharma apps are available, where you can online order to your, uh, about your medicine. That means some software is now available in the computer that find out the disease. As there was a word like expert system, when I told you about it is about the artificial intelligence. It, that means uh, as the health and medicine field are uh, available, a patient will directly do go to the computer instead of going to the doctor. Online pharmacy facility is available. The patient dictate about his or her problem and uh, the computer respond as a doc doctor to the patient about that particular disease and suggest the various remedies that the patient should follow. Basically, these type of softwares are developed. There is no any doctor in, uh, has been put in the computer. There, is, there are some softwares are available that helps the patient for uh, remedies. Then comes the science. Scientists have been uh, using the computer for a long time for their uh, research purpose computer as there are so many softwares like uh, i will give you one example 
a matlab that is very important software for the research purpose that is also used in your field as well for implementation of research work the internet based collaborative laboratories are available in which the researchers all over the world work together for research purpose then comes the business with the pand pandemic covid 19 you can find out the business is running only over the internet as there is no physical business is there all the persons are using apps and various internet websites for enhancing their business that means it is very much clear that computer is used uh, can be used for the business purpose to enhance productivity and with this the competition is also increased even the sales persons for retailing banking stocking stock market all are using the computers then comes the recreation and entertainment recreation and entertainment that means in movies computer generate graphics give freedom to the designer so the special effect even the imaginary character can play part in making movies videos and commercials and uh, we can say that uh, recreation uh, restaurants are involved here when you go over the restro then there are computer system which generate bill for you then that could uh, directly calculate the cost of your uh, purchasing and uh, print a receipt that is uh, recreation and then comes the government in various government department either it is traffic department tourism department broadcasting department aviation department any other department related to the government computer is must mm -hmm. thing then comes the defense in the defense field also some missiles are constructed or the prototype of missiles prototype means a dummy sort of a simulator which works like a missile that this particular missile will work like this they are using the computer field or they are using some software which helps the defense department for their future work or their future product then comes the sports in sports computer compile sell uh, tickets uh, for send for uh, selling online tickets computer is used for training programs and diets for the athletes some diets plans can be suggested by the computer system similarly again the software are available over the computer system which help for the uh, sport may sports person to perform various activities then comes the advantages of computer people are using computer for paying their bills managing their home budget or simply having some break and watching a movie listening to song or playing computer games this is the first advantage or we may say that the application that we have covered are the advantages of computer the second advantage is online services like skype or other social media websites are used for communication and sharing purposes this is another example of the computer system computer can be used as a great educational tool computer can uh, students can have access to all sort of information over the internet some great website wikipedia code academy khan academy byte notes are available that helps the students as well as the professionals the computer is being used in every field of life such as medical business industry airline weather forecasting when you check about the advantages of computer you can find out all the advantages are related to the applications of computer whatsoever the application of the computer are the advantages of computer then comes the disadvantages of computer we have already discussed that uh, in some fields it is possibility that uh, human beings will be get replaced by the computer system it may lead to the unemployment then wastage of time and energy sometimes we spend 
over um, uh, number of hours in front of computer just by exploring the internet or for a chatting purpose this is wasted of time and energy then is data security when there is some attack over the system it may breach your personal data a hacker may breach your personal data then this is disadvantage of computer computer crime definitely there is a one dark web is there which may lead to some crime purpose and which involve people over the crime using the computer then comes the privacy violation sometimes people use data of the other people which is not protected suppose you have you have used your password but you have uh, shared your password with your friend he is using your password and it is not protected there is some privacy violation is there this is disadvantage of computer then is health risk is there by spending so much time in front of the computer may lead to disorder of hands these elbows eyes necks and neck and back it may prove as a risk for your health then impact over the internet the computer manufacturing processes and computer waste are polluting the environment the waste part of the computer can release toxic material which may leads to death of some birds as well as some animals that sometimes they consume their products as which may lead to their health effect then comes the block diagram of the computer now the block diagram diagram of computer it contains the following section first is the data then storage unit then central processing information and data flow or control flow okay starting with the block diagram of computer the first block is input unit when i started this session i said computer is where you give the input then the processes then the output i have illustrated this slide by giving you example how you will cook a vegetable starting from your raw vegetable to your cooked vegetable okay similarly when the input unit is there there is data data means if i write here h a n e you won't be able to understand what is what does it mean this is my data then how i will process is input unit is related to the storage unit under the storage unit we are having secondary storage and primary storage secondary storage means you must have heard about cds usbs hard disk floppy drives theek hai these are the secondary storage device storage unit is there that means anything related to memory is there primary storage is there ram or rom is there this is our primary storage okay when i gave the this is my data h a n e okay when i give this data as a input i have given this data as a input raw data is there as to the storage device then there is a processing of data where the processing of data is has been done in the control unit or arithmetic logic unit cu stands for control unit alu stands for arithmetic and logic unit there is no any sort of arithmetic data is there arithmetic data means no any calculation is there so this is my simple data there is only control unit will be get used here there is no any sort of calculation is there then there is a processing of that data there is a processing storage is there there is a processing of that data then there is a output the output says 
the data will be in the form of information information is if i assemble this word then i want the information as neha okay this is my information first thing is anything that you will give to the computer will be as a raw data then this data will be get stored either in the secondary storage or in the primary storage then there is a communication of the storage unit with the control unit and arithmetic logic unit then after processing there is final output which is in the form of information you were not able to understand earlier but i have written here h a n e this is just letters for you alphabetical alphabets are for you but after the processing after the this thing you will get the information yes neha has been written i will give you one more example here that instead of this how you will use the arithmetic and logic unit if there is a data that is 2 plus 3 this is my data i know there is some addition is there this data will be get stored to either secondary storage primary storage then it will go to the for processing to the control unit and the arithmetic and logic unit then there is some calculation is there arithmetic means some calculation is there some logical calculation is there okay then there is a processing of data at the end as a information i will get five this is my information okay firstly data means raw thing it will be in the input unit and the final knowledge or final information will be in the output unit here comes the data information and knowledge data is a name given to basic facts such as names and numbers information is data that has been converted into a more usable or intangible form knowledge is arrangement of information and classifying information of the same type or the same topic as in the example you can check data is here minus 2 4 3 10 then there is arrangement of data in the ascending order you can check minus 3 is the lowest one then minus 2 0 4 10 this is just an example then the final inform data will become the information that i with this i am not able to understand that data is here for me just numbers are there after sorting after arranging in some order then i can find out the information that just yes, the data is in the ascending order then comes the input devices input unit uh, in the input unit we can only provide input to the computer system by using the input devices input devices any hardware component that allow a user to enter data and instruction to a computer suppose if i am typing something that means i am giving input over the keyboard there are some input devices keyboard is one of the device that you generally use then the mouse that is a pointer device that you use touch pad touch screen is available or some touch pad is available where just by using the finger you can give the input to the computer then track ball is available then touch screen is available joystick is available which is generally used to play games barcode reader when you go for shopping you can find out just some barcode is available over the product the the shopkeeper generally scan that barcode reader and find out the price of that particular product this is also input device it scans the barcode and get the output over the monitor okay ocr is there optical character reader is there omr is there optical mark recognition is there particular mark is there then light pen is there some phones are available with the stylus is there you can give the input by using that light pen then scanner is there when you scan anything the scanner also work as an input device this is some uh, pictorial representation of the devices input devices this is keyboard this is numeric keypad 
numeric keypad is generally available over the ATMs. Then pointing device, mouse is there. Remote control is also input device where you give input and get the output over your TV screen, over the LCD, LED. Then the joystick, which is used to play game. Then the touch screen, which is generally used by you when you use the ATM machines. Scanner is there when you scan anything. Graphic tablets is there. Then microphone, I'm giving the input in the microphone. You are listening me. That means you are using your speaker, which is working as an output. Then digital cameras is one of the example. Webcam is also an input device. Light pen is also an input device. Then comes the output device. Output device is any piece of computer hardware equipment which converts information into human readable form. Some examples are monitor, printers, plotters, speakers. Monitors are used by you. You are aware about the printers where you can get the printouts. Plotters are like where you get big printouts which is very large in size as computer your printer. You can find out the flex are there. Flex is not printed by the printers. They are generated by using the plotter. It is also one form of a printer, but size is very huge where you can get the printout, which is of big size. Then the speaker is one of the output device. Here is some example of output devices, monitor, printer, speakers, headset, projector is output device, plotter is this form where you can get big size printout as compared to your printer. Then comes the storage devices. Further, storage devices, the devices which are used to store data or information in a computer system are called the storage devices. There are two types of storage devices, primary storage device and secondary storage device. When we covered the block diagram of the computer, the input is given to the storage unit. The storage unit contains the primary as well as the secondary storage device. Here we will discuss in detail that what is the difference between primary storage device and secondary storage device. Firstly, primary memory or primary storage device, the primary memory is temporary. The secondary memory, secondary memory is permanent. Primary memory is directly accessible by the processor or CPU. It is shown by you by using the block diagram. Secondary memory is not directly accessible by the CPU. Nature of parts of primary memory varies. RAM volatile in nature, ROM is non-volatile in nature. Secondary memory, it's always non-volatile in nature. Volatile in nature means its content or data will be get removed when the power is off. So you are working over something and uh, suddenly there is a power off, then your content will be get removed. But non-volatile means whether you are, your data, wheresoever your data is, your data is safe. As example, here high code here is your USB. So you are having some content in your USB. It is saved until and unless you remove it. It is called non-volatile in nature. Primary memory devices are very expensive. Then secondary storage device, secondary storage devices are less expensive as compared to primary memory devices. Primary devices are semiconductor memories. This is under the how the manufacturing technique is involved. In the secondary memory, a magnetic and optical memories are used. Primary memory is also called the main memory or internal memory. These words can be used. I in, in spite of primary memory, main memory or internal memory. The secondary memory is also called external memory or auxiliary memory. The examples that are under the primary memory storage is RAM or ROM. RAM stands for random access memory or read only memory. Then secondary memory stands uh, has in the example hard disk, floppy disk, magnetic tape, CDs, your pen drives all are under the secondary storage devices or secondary memory.
Then comes the difference between RAM and ROM. First is the data retention. RAM is volatile in nature. The RAM is volatile memory which co store data as long as the power is supplied. That means when the power is off, the data will be get lost. ROM is non-volatile in nature. That means non-volatile memory which could retain the data even when power is turned off. Working type data stored in RAM can be retrieved and altered. Under the ROM, ROM stored in the data stored in ROM can only be read. You cannot modify the data. But under the RAM, you can modify your data. Usage. RAM used to store the data that has to be currently processed by the CPU temporarily. ROM, it stores the instruction required during bootstrap of the computer. That means during the starting of the computer. Bootstrap means starting of the computer. Then the speed, RAM is of high speed memory. ROM is slower than RAM. CPU interaction, the CPU can assess the data stored in it. Under the ROM, the CPU cannot assess the data stored on it unless the data is stored in RAM. Size and capacity, RAM has larger size with high capacity, ROM smaller size with less capacity. Use as or in, RAM is used in CPU cache, primary memory, ROM is used in firmware or microcontrollers. Accessibility, RAM is data stored is easily accessible. Under the room, the data stored is not easily accessible as in the RAM. RAM is costlier, ROM is cheaper than RAM. Next comes the classification of memory. The types of memory include RAM and ROM that is further divided into RAM is further divided into SRAM and DRAM. ROM is divided into PROM, EPROM, EEPROM. All these type of memories we will cover in our next session.